What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for intermediates. In today's episode number five, we're continuing to talk about threading. So today we're going to learn about events and daemon threads, two very interesting elements when it comes to threading. So let us get into the code. Now events are basically just things in Python that we can trigger. And when we trigger them, we can react to them in the code. So uh, to work with events, we again need to import the threading module and I increased the font size a little bit more so every one of you can see that. If it gets too big, tell me I'm going to adjust it uh, based on your comments. So to create an event in Python, we just have to say event or call it my event, doesn't matter, event equals threading dot event with a capital E. Now this right here is our event and we can trigger this event and we can wait for this event. So we can... Uh, it is just basic, basically an element, an object that has the function to be triggered. And when we trigger it, uh, we can make certain things happen. So, for example, let's define a function, my function here, uh, which just waits for the event to trigger. So, print uh, waiting for event to trigger. And then we call the wait function of the event. So we say event dot wait, and this makes our function wait until the event is triggered. So it will be stuck there until our event is triggered. And uh, after the event is triggered, we can just do whatever we want to do. So here would be the reaction of the event being triggered. So I can say uh, performing action x y z now. And basically this would be the reaction or the response to the event being triggered. Now what I can do next is I can just uh, create a thread or let's just call it T1 equals threading dot thread with a capital T again and define this function to be the target function and then starting the thread. So what happens here is we run a thread T1 which just waits for this um, event to be triggered. And until it's triggered, nothing happens. So what we can then do is we can tell the user to input, um, let's just call it X, yes. Input, uh, do you want the, or do you want to trigger the event? Question mark, and then we can specify yes and no. And then I can check if x equals y, I can uh, trigger the event by calling the set method. So I set the event, which means I triggered the event. I just say, okay, now you can stop waiting because the event is activated. And else, or let's say if x equals, or actually you can say else, doesn't matter if anything but y gets input or put in, we just, uh, Actually, just we can just not use that else tree here. So when I run this right now, I see waiting for event to trigger. And immediately after that, I print, do you want to trigger the event? So maybe I should, let's do that. Maybe I should uh, use a line break here because it gets printed almost simultaneously. Still, it doesn't work. Oh, this time. We printed this first, so let's also enter one here. Ah, now it works. Uh, so we see waiting for event to trigger, and we can now choose to trigger the event or not. Now notice that in the background, uh, whereas the uh, like the main thread is still waiting for our input, but the other thread T1 is still running. So it's not waiting because we have to input something; it's waiting because the uh, the event is waiting. We call the event function. So basically nothing happens until we say yes and then the event gets triggered by using the set function and we are performing some action right now. So we can use uh, this concept here in much more sophisticated ways, but this is how it basically works. Now let us talk about daemon threads. Daemon threads are very interesting because they are running in the background and the script terminates even though they're still running because they're not vital to the program. So if we have a couple of threads running, the program usually waits uh, for all of these threads to uh, finish, to be stopped. But for daemon threads, nobody waits for daemon threads. They just, uh, the, the script just terminates. It doesn't matter if daemon threads are still running because they're running in the background and they're not vital to the program. So 
Um, we could use a daemon thread for reading, constantly reading in information from a file, constantly reading in information from a web API or something. And as soon as everything else is done, we just terminate the script and we also terminate the daemon thread. So we're going to look at an example here. Let's just import threading and import time. And what we're going to do is we're going to have two threads. One thread is a daemon thread and it will be reading in information from a text file, whereas the other thread is going to print that information out onto the screen. So it will be a print loop and the other one would be just reading in, uh, in the background, reading in information from that file. So first of all, let us specify a file text.txt. And then we have an empty string here, which is just uh, the string to be, or the text to be printed out onto the screen. And now we're going to define a function read text, or let's call it read file. And this function will do a, a constant loop, will have a, or will run a constant loop that reads in all the information from the file and waiting three seconds. So we're going to say global path uh, and global text. And we're going to say while true. So an endless loop. While true, we're going to uh, use a with statement here. While true, open text.txt in reading mode as f. And then we're going to say text equals f dot read. And of course, we're going to wait after that for <clears throat> three seconds. So this is basically our read file method. It's in an endless loop and this endless loop always uh, reads or scans in the information from the text file, waits three seconds and does the same thing again. So the second function would be the print loop. This print loop is just going to, uh, actually I don't think that we need global text here because we're not changing anything. So we're going to say for x in, uh, range 30 so that sometimes hopefully it uh, terminates we're going to say 30 times we're going to print what we have in the text uh, in the text variable so we're going to say just print text and then we're going to wait for one second every time and what we're going to do now is we're going to run this function here read file in a daemon thread so it's not important. So even though it's an endless loop, we can just terminate the loop without terminate, uh, terminating it manually. Uh, but when this thread here finishes, we're just going to say, okay, we're done and terminate the script. So what we're going to do is we're going to say t1 equals threading dot thread. And a target function is read file. And this thread is a daemon thread. So we're going to specify daemon equals true. And t2 is threading dot thread target equals print loop. And now we're going to just start t1 and t2, but we're going to not print it 30 times because we would have to wait too long. Let's just say 10 times. And of course, uh, I have to create the file first. Or actually, let's do 30 times because we need some time to change the uh, information in the file. Uh, again, I need to create a file. So let's just say uh, text.txt. And here I'm going to say hello world. And close the file. And now I'm going to run my script here. And you'll see that it prints hello world all the time. And now I can change it to hey guys and save it and you'll see that my daemon thread is constantly reading in the information. Now I can say A, then I can say B. Um, and you can see that even though I changed B, it printed A one more time because it needs three seconds to scan the file again. So basically it will print this now for 30 times and then it will say uh, I'm done and we're going to terminate the script because uh, the daemon thread is no longer important so actually, um, I didn't terminate the script right now, but it terminates itself. It just has some uh, a bug with me, uh, or it has a bug here because um, 
oftentimes when I use uh, when I'm using threading, it doesn't show that the script is terminated, but it basically terminated the script because the print loop or the, the second thread here, T2, was done and T1 was just a daemon thread, so not important, and it terminated the script. We were done. So that's basically everything that you need to know about daemon threads and events. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. Uh, feel free to give feedback and ask questions in the comment section down below. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.